This is Jupiter Today for the 14th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day at its eastern elongation and is going to be moving into quadrant 2 heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant 2 and is heading west. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant 1, heading east, and Callisto spends all day in quadrant 4, heading east. 6 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 2, heading west, as well as Europa. At 6.44 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee, which is the furthest distance it'll be from Jupiter in its orbit. And that distance is 677,199.7 kilometers. And then at 726 UTC, EO goes through a perigee, the closest approach to Jupiter in its orbit. And by 12 hours UTC, EO has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa is still in quadrant 2, heading west. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant 3 heading west. Europa has also transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3 heading west. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO has moved past its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4 heading east. And Ganymede has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. There are eight Jupiter satellite events today. At 10.06, the transit of EO across Jupiter begins. At 10.17, EO's shadow ingresses. At 12.23 UTC, the transit of EO ends. At 12.35 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. At 13.54, the transit of Europa begins. At 14.18 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. 16.49, the transit of Europa ends. And at 17.13 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. There were no satellite mutual events today. So we'll go right to the orbital ribbons. Just looking at the temporal connections between the moons of Jupiter. So these are the same orbits as you just saw before, EO, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. And I've just connected the same times to make these interesting shapes. So there's EO and Europa, and EO and Ganymede. It's a nice twist there. EO and Callisto. And then there's Europa and Ganymede, another nice twist. And Europa and Callisto. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And putting them all together and adding some color. We get that for today. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. This is simulating standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds, looking out over the next 24 hours to see what's happening. You can see EO just passed in front of Europa there, and we'll be doing its transit of Jupiter from our point of view, followed by Europa.
goes Eo in front of Callisto. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 9.03 and the second at 18.59 UTC. There were some new images posted on the internet today. And there was also some new radio data. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 16 minutes, 52.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 49 minutes, 49.5 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun as seen from Earth is 171.664 degrees and that's 1.133 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 1.54 degrees and that's 0 0.208 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and Earth is 651,583,681 kilometers and that's 339,818 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and Earth of 14,159.08 kilometers per hour moving away from one another. And that's 1,959.91 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,024,065 kilometers. That's 46,009 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth and the Sun of 1,917.04 kilometers per hour. And that's 0.5 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 170.31 degrees, CM2 130.07 degrees, CM3 40.53 degrees. The time of this recording is 117 UTC on the 14th of February 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to those who are subscribing. Make sure to spread the word about this podcast if anyone you know might be interested in hearing what's going on at Jupiter. Also like to hear your comments and questions and suggestions about making any improvements. I'm always trying to improve this podcast. So you can send all of those and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.